During this tutorial, I will be demonstrating how to set up and use the Sabo mobile arm support. Firstly, I'm going to show you the table mount option and how to attach it. You want to have a sturdy table with no lip underneath. Undo and widen the gap. Slot it onto the table and make sure you tighten the handle underneath. Then take the upright pole and slide it into the table mount for use. Now I will be showing you how to set up the mobile arm support with base frame for patient use. Base frame allows more versatility for this device. I'm going to start by adjusting the height of the device. So using the height adjustable knob to either move the pole up or down, ideally getting the tension handle in line with your patient's shoulder. Make sure that the tension scale is reduced all the way down to one. Next, you need to unclip the parallelogram, followed by undoing and sliding down the anti-swivel device to ensure that the parallelogram is free to move. When you're ready to put your patient in the device, you want to place their forearm in the forearm support about two thirds of the way up towards their elbow and secure the forearm strap tightly. You then have the option of using the tension scale to increase the assistance when they're moving. So moving from one up towards 15 as you move up the scale, you will provide more assistance. When you first start off, increase the tension so that you just eliminate gravity. Then if you want to give them more assistance to move through range, keep increasing the tension handle up. As they improve over time, you can start to reduce the tension on the tension scale. With the position of the device, Ensure that the user is roughly 60 centimetres or an arm's length from the device. You can position the device to the side of the patient, behind the patient or in front of the patient. For your low level patients with very weak proximal movement, you may want to use the lockout screw on the forearm support. This will then concentrate movement proximally around their shoulder. As they improve, you can undo this to allow them more movement. If you are doing functional tasks, you may want to use the elbow stop option so that when they bring their hand to mouth, they are supported and the forearm support doesn't slide up or down. If they have a very weak wrist and are not using their hand for tasks, you may want to use the wrist stop option. We do have different forearm support sizes. So if you are combining the device with the Sabo Flex or your patient has a larger forearm, you can swap over the size. The aluminium forearm supports are also malleable so you can adjust to the size of your patient's forearm. For infection control purpose, you can remove the liners and put a clean liner back in through the Velcro system. You can use the Sabo mobile arm support in varying positions for your patient. You can use it in a standing position by adjusting the height. You can use it in a seated position. You can use it in a side lying position.